Hey everybody! Welcome Hello to there. Zelda, the Legend of Wind Waker. What? That doesn't sound right. I know, right? Uh, so what is the most fun video game you've ever played? That is today's discussion oh. topic. Let us know in the comments. Uh, how do you feel about me asking the discussion topic immediately when we start the video? Do you feel like oh. it gives momentum? Or does it like, like, like give people an excuse not to watch the entire 15 minutes? Um... I think it gives me something to think about and distracts me a lot. All right, so my my most fun video game, like the game I had the most fun with, I would say Wind Waker was pretty fun, and I actually have a Wind Waker story. Uh, when yeah. I first got Wind Waker, I was living uh, at my grandma's house. Uh, I guess I was maybe I don't know when did Wind Waker come out? Two thousand two. Ah, yep, sure. Something around there. Uh, my cousin. Who at the time, I, I guess I, I might have been like 15, 16, he was 30. Well, uh, he was a video gamer. He, uh, he was a hardcore EverQuest player. Anyway, I, I talked him into uh, playing Wind Waker with me, and we'd take turns. You know, we'd both do a dungeon and switch over. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. I like to play video games with people. I like switching controllers and just hanging out. I enjoy hanging out Whee! with people. You know, I enjoy playing video games with myself. It's whatever. But hanging out with people you enjoy their company and you can have a discussion with... I yep. enjoy that. Uh, so, uh, but is it my most fun video game ever? I would say, I'd like to say a Link to the Past, but a Link to the Past, maybe when I was a kid, was super fun. But as an adult, it's it's more of a challenge every time I play. You know, if I'm if, <laughs> if I'm playing the the original game, I'm like, okay, I want to do it faster. I want to find find you know faster ways to do this. Uh, it's not necessarily the most fun. I've been having fun with Breath of the Wild, but it does... I, I wouldn't say, you know, like, some games you pick up and it's fun from the get-go all the way through. Breath of the Wild kind of starts out slow, and then it's it's a whole lot of... I wouldn't call it grinding, but it's, you know... I'm not saying it's boring or it's bad or it's anything. It's just not... It's It doesn't get the endorphins going 24-7. It's a beautiful game with a lot of shit to do. Oh my gosh, that's Big Dragon. Yeah, that's his name too. Actually, it's Valu, but whatever. We'll call him Big Dragon from now on. Uh, let's see. Like Mega Man, I, I'd want to say Mega Man, but I think Mega Man is more frustrating than fun. Uh, which is always fun. Oh god, you're gonna die. Oh no. If only you lost your sword too, that'd been hilarious. Uh, what's your most fun video game ever? Um, well, alright, so I actually sent a message to Herrero, uh, after the, la, yesterday's recording session. Um, did, did we actually yesterday? saying yeah. how excited I was for, uh, to play Wind Waker again, because it's, I'm actually having that much fun with it. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of how Pokemon started, though. Like, we were so excited and enthusiastic to record. We recorded a whole bunch in like the first two weeks, and then then you got bored. Uh, no, or angry, see, it wasn't frustrated. necessarily that. It was, <laughs> it was just like the whole race part of it. Yeah. Well, I think the the thing about Wind Waker is it's a beautiful game. It's fun. It's fast paced. Wind Waker doesn't really well. Okay, Wind Waker doesn't have a part that really slows down until the end of the game. It, it keeps right. going, okay. and it. It's the the game is so animated. It's so funny. It's 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 just a good time until the end of the game. Uh, at the end of the game, it fucking goes to a fucking standstill. But we'll get there. But like like right now, I I barely helped you. I mean, I've given you a few oh, hints that probably saved you ten minutes of fucking searching. But like you know, it's 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 not handheld holding you at all. But its puzzles are set out in a way you can figure out how to do it. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, uh, I'm having no issues getting through this without a lot of issues. Yeah, I think I've helped you once in this dungeon. Telling yeah, you I'd... where to throw the fucking thing at. I mean, that's that's a good game, in my opinion. Like, that, that's why Mega Man was good, is it, it didn't fucking handheld you. And uh, Go watch Ego Raptor's sequel Hitus for Mega Man if you want to know why Mega Man's really good at not handholding, but still teaching you how to play the game. And But that's why when this is... A lot of games, for me, don't have the fun factor all the way through. Wind Waker is one of the few. You know, I think of games like Metroid. Metroid was fine, but it was frustrating. And it's not because it's hard, it was just frustrating, you know? Uh, Mega Man was frustrating. 
Uh, battle kit, I'm not even gonna fucking touch that with a stick. Uh, oh, that reminds me, uh... The graveling hook! <laughs> it's about time. Uh, good luck, by the way. Just kidding, that's fun. This boss okay. fight is really fun. Um, so I was at oh my a god, this dragon is so noisy. Sorry, I can barely hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was at a gaming convention in 2009, and uh, I think his name's Eddie LeBron. He made uh, the Sonic fan film, and he made a Mega Man fan film, and uh, and uh, I didn't I didn't know what he looked like at the time. But uh, me and Nevin, we've talked about Nevin in videos before. You, I think uh, I believe we have. I think you've talked to Nevin on Skype once or twice. Um, Maybe. Uh, but anyway, we were on an elevator going down. A little tipsy, you know, because that's what you do at game conventions when you're, uh, you know, 20 years old, 21 years old. Should say 21. It's the legal drinking age of the United States. <laughs> um, actually, the convention was a week before my 21st birthday, and I was drunk out of my mind. Uh, kids don't drink and drive. But anyway, Just don't drink until you're legal age. So uh, we're we're on this uh, elevator, and this guy. Uh, uh, says, you know, what did you think of the Mega Man fan film? And I, I fucking gave him, like, a two-minute explanation of why it was shit. And, uh, got off the elevator, and, uh, uh, uh I think, uh, like, the second we walked off the elevator, somebody was like, oh, it's Eddie LeBron, he's the guy who made the Mega Man fan film. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm pretty sure he hates me now. Uh, I mean, it, to be honest, like everyone, it, it everyone wasn't, it wasn't a bad fan film, but they were overhyping the living fuck out of it, acting like it was some triple A title whenever it was clearly a fucking fan film and it should have been marketed as a fan film. But he's like the definitive Mega Man movie. And it's like, it's not, it's not, it's a fucking fan film. And we all know, you know, that there can be enjoyable fan films, but it's fucking fan fiction, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was my that was literally what I, I went on about for fucking two minutes with them, and I, I feel bad about it. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of these these uh, you know I'm not, I'm not gonna call them freelance. Well, I guess they are freelance, but you know, passion project directors and creators like even us, uh, you know, their fans are so supportive uh, because it's small fan bases, and uh, you know, I can I can tell you from our small fan base, we don't deserve the praise we get. No, uh, we do not. I, I feel like once in a while, these these passion projects needs a true constructive criticism, and that's all it was. I'm not being like, dude, you fucking suck. No, I'm like, it was a good fan film, but that's all it was. Yeah, you know, like our videos, I can fucking tell you, like, fuck this series with fucking ramblers and not even making you fucking sense and talking about fucking life. Why aren't you talking about fucking Breath of the Wild? It's relevant. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, actually, I mean, you do you do raise a good point. Actually, our first uh, Zelda 3 randomizer, we got fucking yeah. criticism up the ass on that one. The second really? time around, everybody was really nice to us. But the first time around, people were like, why didn't you do this? It's like, why are oh, you using right. the same yeah. seeds? Why did you blah, yeah. blah, blah? And I'm like, I'm sorry. This is the first time we're doing it. I'm sorry. Because, you know, at the time, we were getting like six vi views per video. Unless it was Alien Isolation, then nobody watched it, literally. Um, do you, I think, uh, I, was I mean, you know, watched like four episodes. Uh, people have been watching it lately though. Yeah. It's weird. People have been going back and watching our old videos and especially, uh, alien isolation. That's just too weird for me, <laughs> <laughs> but, but people were brutally honest with us in, uh, uh, the original race, uh, which was funny. Cause, uh, yeah, I, I'd comment to you about the comments and spoil the episodes, but from yep. what I understand, you haven't even watched the rematch. I haven't watched the rematch. No, that is that is indeed correct. Why didn't you watch the rematch? <laughs> uh, because I'm a poor, I'm a bad friend. A poor bad friend. Yeah. Cool. I'm poor and I'm bad. Yeah. Well, you're Australian then. It kind yeah. Of, see, you're, my you're currency exchange rate is just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but the, I I think uh, the commenters like the ending of the second race. Uh, for the most part, I think the first race had a lot more tension to it uh even you know even if it wasn't really that close it was what 11 minutes eight minutes something like that apart in the first race the second race was much closer uh not going to spoil anything other than that um but the the tension wasn't there like it was in the first race uh, right okay 
Yeah. So are you enjoying the uh, grappling hook at all? It's interesting. <laughs> I'll give it that. Like, it's it's following the rope mechanics perfectly fine, and it makes sense. Like, I understand why it's as ropey as it is. <laughs> if you well, know what I mean? I, I always thought it was unique, because, you know, every every game since A Link to the Past had a hook shot, and this had a freaking grappling hook, which, you know, yeah. fucking Batman was popular. The, the animated series, holy shit, people were like, grappling hooks, holy crap. But it wasn't like Batman's, like, fucking automated... <laughs> One, it was, you know, old school grappling hook, but still. Yeah. I still think it's pretty cool. You know, I, I, it does make you wonder, because uh, these are Japanese games. Like, what are yep. their inspirations behind these games? Like, you know, you, you can, like, play Skyrim and be like, oh, yeah, I know what movie inspired that. Or, what you know, what, what inspired that. But you have to wonder sometimes what these Japanese developers are inspired by. Well... Because you know, the original you can, Zelda was um, Miyamoto's he wanted childhood. To go, yeah, his childhood. So I mean, I assume they're like that kind of thing mixed with the lore of. But but you could say a Japanese lot of culture. this. A lot of this game could have been inspired by Indiana Jones or something. Oh uh, yeah, I get what you mean. I mean, there's a lot. You know. Oh. Uh, well, you well. better figure out how this puzzle works. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here. How about that? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, so did you already lose your bird friend? Oh, I see what you have to do. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Um, is there an enemy in front of you? There is, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I need water. Water to kill it? Hello. Why don't you, why don't you hit him in the face and find out. Like, like legit, hit him in the face, yo. Ow! <laughs> Are you the worst there sword fighter of all time? Oh. You fucked up. You weren't supposed to kill shot him. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, there he is. There's another one. Yeah. Don't don't fucking go all karate kid on him. Just hit him in the face. Stop kill oh shotting him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, there's another one. Yeah, they auto spawn because uh you need them. Yeah, I figured. Did, did you forget just how to fucking shoot upside down? There, there we there go. You go. That's how you make things to put on things. Uh, uh, and how did I drop? It's the that one. Yep. It's no, but it's trap. on it. <laughs> it's close, but no cigar. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, so you have any cool work stories you want to share with us today? Um, not really. I don't really have anything <laughs> quite as exciting. Um, plus I'd essentially just be retelling the exact same process. Uh, <laughs> that you were describing. Just mine was with food. Yay! Um, that's the big key. I got the big key. <laughs> oh shit! It's moving. <laughs> Did it scare you? Get the you? fuck out of here! Are you scared? Bitch, you scared? Um, yeah, now I am. Ah, oh, motherfucker! <laughs> uh, I keep thinking A to to pull up. Gotcha. I wouldn't be Go nice away. to have a boomerang or something to throw in their faces. Yeah, I don't really have any ranged weapons, which is really putting me out. <laughs> okay. Well, you do have a there grappling hook. Ooh. Wait, so I can actually use the grappling hook as a weapon? Uh, you can use it. Try it. <gasps> ah! For fuck's sake! <laughs> You're very good it. at this game, my friend. Very good. God damn it. By the way, I think like two videos ago I said you were going to finish this dungeon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told you. You had... Too good a faith in me. It's not that hard. But then again, you've never really played a Zelda game. I've ever. never played this game. Well, my first try, I'd already beaten the dungeon by now. Oh, yeah, okay. Brag about it. Mm-hmm. Well, I was literally raised on Zelda, though. Zelda was my childhood. Like, my early... One of my earliest memories is playing the original Legend of Zelda with my brother and cousin, and... What not? Mind you, you know, it's a different situation. I wasn't act actually the one playing it most of the time, but... <gasps> oh! Bullix. <laughs> Fuck, I hate these rope mechanics. <laughs> but, uh, this is, uh, you know, the game grounds Wind Waker uh, run was when they got super fucking deep uh, into their life. So I think this, this is going to be us getting deep. Uh, well, me getting <laughs> deep, because Dentonimus is like, I'm Australian, ha! 
I'm Australian yeah. and I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still 21. I don't really have much of a life to, uh, to get deep into. Yeah, well... I think I don't I, have, like, five career paths that I, I think, can go through. I, I think I was... Well, I oh, guess I, fuck! I was, damn it! I think, ironically enough, I think I was either 22 or 23 when we met. <laughs> uh, I think you were 23. It's weird that I was older than you are now when we met. Yeah, we haven't known each other too long then. It feels like forever though. Oh, uh, I've I've known Party Cat since July fourth, no July third, two thousand ten. Uh, no July second. No, it was the third. It was the third. Uh, don't ask me why I know that day. We met him at a gaming convention. <laughs> uh, me and Morgoloth, he was uh just following us around. Wait, uh, you can I, stop. You can stop it. Uh, with the ZR. Oh. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Damn it! But uh, we met. I, I think I've told the story. We met Party Cat at a uh, gaming convention, and he was just following us around. And he's like, "I'm your friend now." And that's just that. We're honestly, that's how Party Cat is. Like you've, you've that seen, is. He, you, there's no other way to describe him. That's just the person Party Cat is. He just does. You know. Uh, he's like, "Hello, I am here now, and you must yeah. tolerate me." <gasps> which, which we finally have him back in TBC chat. Uh, yes, we do. Exciting because someone's actually talking to us. Uh, yeah. It's been awfully quiet lately. Uh, other than 8 bit Ninja Turtles doing some stuff for me uh, for the website, I asked him to handle it. Uh, even though it's your, your website, it's not his anymore. You went and yeah. changed everything, literally. He's but been not... in construction for like how many years now? <laughs> uh, you know, RD 2.0 is coming at some point. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old it is. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, uh, why are we using WordPress? It's because we don't have time to, like, build a kick-ass website. And WordPress works! Yay. Anyway, next time on TVC Plays, we're gonna play some more Wind Waker, and we're gonna have some fun. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna have some fun. Uh, so thanks I'm so much for watching, 22. guys. Don't forget to stay awesome. Insert cash price here. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're not going to roll on the ground. I can't. I tried. Aw. <laughs> I just flailed my shield around. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> if you if you push, I think it's the B or the A button. If it's if you uh, let go of your shield, it'll put... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Next time on TBC Plays, we're going to have more... Boy, yeah. I don't know what the fuck that was about. <laughs>